French cooking, how and why French cuisine came to rule the world. French cuisine is widely regarded as the most prestigious and respected in the world. French cuisine has come to control the world thanks to its formal skills, appreciation for fresh ingredients and simple flavors, pride in presentation, and rich and colorful history. To become a skilled chef, you must have a thorough understanding of the foundations of French cooking. But how did French food become so well known? Let's look at how French cuisine has influenced food and culture all across the world. Number 1. Medieval French Cooking The origins of French cuisine and some of its influences can be traced back to the Middle Ages. The nobility of the time ate multi-course dinners consisting of wild game, meat, fruit, and cereals, while peasants ate diets rich in vegetables and legumes. Salt and imported spices were commonly utilized and regarded as a status symbol in the elite's kitchens. Because there were few means to preserve food in ancient times, individuals chose their ingredients based on what they had on hand. Fresh, seasonal ingredients are also used in modern French cooking. Banquets or feasts were frequently held by members of the upper class to display their affluence. The value of these delicacies was highlighted by their exquisite presentation. These foods were presented in an ornate manner to please guests, and the value of presentation is still emphasized in French cuisine today. Number 2. How French Cuisine Spread Cooking in France evolved over time as civilizations shifted and changed around the world. Cooking styles throughout the Middle Ages began to lighten, and meals in France began to take on the shape of the cuisine we know today. Cookbooks and detailed techniques were not published until the 1600s. In 1651, François-Pierre La Varenne produced Le Cuisinier François, the earliest French cookbook. Many cooks were encouraged to document their work as a result of this. The French Revolution, which took place in 1789, aided the growth of the study of cookery by removing government-imposed vocational prohibitions. As time went on, more and more French people learned to cook for themselves. Chefs from all over the world studied these manuals as French cuisine spread beyond France's borders. Throughout the 1700s and 1800s, the French colonized numerous countries, including Asia, Africa, North America, and the Caribbean, spreading their knowledge and cooking techniques. Number 3. Haute Cuisine if you've ever studied French food, you've probably heard of the term haute cuisine. Haute cuisine, which literally means high cuisine, refers to a movement in French gastronomy from extravagance and quantity to restraint and quality. In the 1800s, Marie Antoine Carême is often recognized as spearheading this movement. He viewed French cookery as a refined art form requiring expertise and precision. His recipe books made French food more accessible as well. The King of Chefs and Chef of Kings, as well as the namesake of our school, Georges Auguste Escoffier, introduced haute cuisine to the modern world. He changed the principles of French cookeries, such as the way food is presented and served. Auguste Escoffier modernized haute cuisine with the publishing of Le Guide Culinaire in 1903. Auguste Escoffier also advanced the culinary industry by establishing an organized and well-run professional kitchen. With his unique brigade de cuisine system, which is based on a rigid hierarchy, it revolutionized the culinary arts by instilling a military-style attitude in kitchens, allowing them to provide efficiently and effective service under strong leadership. Today, the brigade system is still in use in kitchens all around the world. Number 4. Nouvelle Cuisine Nouvelle Cuisine was born in the 1900s when French culinary continued to evolve. The use of high-quality, fresh products, lighter dishes, and simpler, but no less stunning presentations defines this cooking style. Modern French food is influenced by the different cooking concepts developed and presented by French chefs over the centuries. Number 5. The Foundations of French Cooking Cooking in France is quite complicated and has a long history. Nonetheless, the majority of chefs would agree that technique, ingredients, and the dining experience is all key aspects of this cuisine. Number 6. Technique. Patience, talent, and attention to detail are required for French cooking skills. These take years to master, but all ambitious chefs should learn them. Number 7. Mise en place. The term, 
Mise in place refers to putting everything in its proper position. A chef organizes their tools and prepares, cuts, and measures their ingredients before cooking a dish. When it's time to cook, everything should be close at hand and ready to go. To make wonders, a chef must be psychologically prepared. Number 8. Sauté. Sautéing is the process of cooking food in olive oil or butter-coated pan over medium to high heat. In French, sauter means to jump, which is exactly what foods do in a hot skillet. Number 9. Braise. Braising is a technique that involves cooking meat or vegetables in a covered pot over low heat until they are soft. Chefs usually sear the exterior of the meat before decreasing the heat and cooking it for hours in fat or wine to achieve rich tastes and soft and tender bites. Number 10. Confit. To confit a food, it must first be salted and then cooked in fat. This method was traditionally used to preserve meat. This method is used in the famous French dish duck confit. Many vegetables, such as garlic or potatoes, can also be confited. Number 11. Flambe. Flambe is a flammable alcohol-based game. When alcohol is flambied, it burns away the alcohol in a matter of seconds while leaving the aroma of the main taste of the liquor. Restaurants have been flambeeing various meals tableside for many years to highlight both the technique and the eating experience for their customers. Number 12. Ingredients. The use of high-quality ingredients is another feature of French cuisine that sets it apart from others. Simple components are frequently converted into elegant dishes in French cuisine. In French cuisine, fresh, naturally produced ingredients are always present. Wine, cheese, olive oil, and fresh produce are just a few of the mainstays. Herbs and spices are very significant in French cuisine, and they can provide depth to foods that are otherwise bland. Herbs de Provence, tarragon, and nutmeg are all common in French cuisine. In France, fresh vegetables and red peppers are offered at the market. Number 13. Dining experience. The eating experience is another pillar of French cuisine, which requires attention to detail, elegance, and a sense of community when dining. A version of this can be seen in aristocratic banquets dating back to the Middle Ages. Although French cuisine has experienced many changes to get to where it is now. Meals became smaller as haute cuisine gained popularity, and presentations became more complex and exquisite. Precision in the presentation was much more important in Nouvelle Cuisine. Many fine dining chefs are becoming just as skilled at presenting their food as they are at cooking it. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this one.